What's up guys, this is Bond Games 3 balling it out here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the diving gear mod. Okay, so for the diving gear mod, as you can see, I have this little thing set up right here, and you realize that I just incorporated a new thing that this gear, this mod includes. So what this is, probably reminds you of Coral, and Coral it is. Alright, so let me just show you the basics of Coral real quick. As you can see, as I look over this water, the coral actually gives off light. That's pretty cool, and uh, it's a really cool source underwater, especially because when you try putting torches, they usually don't work, so that gets kind of frustrating, and there you go. Alright, so what coral also gives you is coral fragments when you mine them up, so yeah, alright. Alright, so let's get into the gears. Okay, so first off, we have our snorkel. So basically, what the snorkel does is it will uh, increase your uh, underwater time by 1.5 seconds per each bubble. So basically, that's like about I think seven seconds more, maybe. I think so. So let me put that on real, real quickly. Here, let me just change to game mode one or zero. All right. So as you can see, oh, we already have something on. All right. So snorkel, okay? As you can see on the bottom left, it gives you actually one armor. So that's actually pretty cool. So anyways, to demonstrate, I thought it'd be cool to build this kind of diving board kind of thing. All right, so, all right. First off, we have Bone Games about to do his triple quadruple jump. Can he do it? Can he stick the landing? We're about to find out. Dun, da da dun. Drum roll, please. And he won. He got the gold medal. All right. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm underwater right now, and I'm wearing my snorkel. As you can see, let me show you a better view. Oh, 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 okay. All right. So, so as you can see, right before we were about to exit, I don't know if you saw that, but it gave us, um, it gave us a refill of bubbles. So let me show you that again. Let's. Let's leave. Let's stay here. You might think we're gonna die. There you go. See, see how the bubbles come back. So that's what this does. And as you can see, it says zero uses left. So we max it out. All right. So let me just get back to there. All right. And let me show you the crafting recipe for the snorkel. Do 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 do. All right. There you go. Okay. So the crafting recipe is iron ingots. Uh, string in the middle, glass panes right beside the string, uh, lapis down in the corners, and a glass bottle underneath the string. So, uh, it's a pretty easy recipe, and yeah. Alright, so let's go on to the ADS Tritonia. So, let me show you the crafting recipe. It is iron ingots, like a U shape, uh, glass in the middle, and vines over it. So, you just need your shears to cut the vines, and yeah. Alright, so let's put that on. We're in game mode. Zero. All right. So that's how we look. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's see how we look with this. Oh, it looks kind of weird. It's kind of scary, actually. <sighs> I'm a sea monster. Okay. I'm not fooling around. All right. Oh, I forgot to use the diving board. All right. Do 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 do. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this out. Alright, so let's just stay underwater. Pretty nice, right? Okay, let's just mine up this gravel or clay. Okay, and we're about to run out of bubbles. And there you go. See how it gave us five more bubbles than the snorkel did. So, there you go. That is the Tritonia for you. Alright, so let's make our way out of here. We're almost there. And we've hit land. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we don't need this anymore. Uh, okay, so next up, I'm going to be showing you the air tanks that this incorporates. So here we have our air tank and our double air tank. So in order to make a double air tank, we're going to need a single air tank. So as you could probably see, a uh, double air tank is better. So we have our two glass bottles right here. Um, iron ingots where the glass bottles on the sides are, 
lapis on the bottom corners and an iron ingot right between the lapis. All right. And then to make our double air tank, you have your string and like a sort of like a bucket shape with ingots. Uh, and then you have your iron ingot right here and then your two air tanks on the side. All right. And let me just um, set the time to day really quickly. All right. Okay. So the reason I'm showing you this is because it'll be used in our next thing. So what they do is, um, as you can see right here, it's a scuba single air tank and then a scuba double air tank. All right. So what this incorporates is you have your lapis and you have your ingots the same. It's pretty much the same thing on both sides, except what's different is you have your single air tank here and then your double air tank. All right. So what the single air tank is, it I believe it, yeah, it triples your it triples your time underneath water and this uh, times it by six. So as you can see, the double air tank is really helpful. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and wear our scuba single air tank. I'll show you that really quickly. And we should use, let's just use a diving board. All right. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of long. I'm just gonna wait here. And we're about to run. There you go. See, it says two uses left. So likewise, if I wore the uh, the double air tank, it would just say five uses left. All right. So that's pretty much that in a nutshell. Because I don't want to waste your time. Okay. So. And over here we have our air compressor. All right. So what this air compressor does, it basically refills air by right-clicking it. I need a redstone source. Okay. So I'll show you the crafting recipe for that. You have your coral fragments on the side, a bucket on top, iron ingot in the middle, redstone underneath that, and a piston on both corners. All right. And one more thing I want to show you right before we leave is if I go ahead and go into game mode one. I'll show you these okay so what this also adds i believe it is the new with the new update it adds you a coral pickaxe a coral shovel and of course what made out of coral fragments so, so you obtain the coral fragments by mining coral, 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 coral okay so, okay, so and, the and the shapes are all the same so the crafting recipes are all the same just substitute it with coral all right so if i go ahead and game mode one okay so let's go oh no my bad guys game is here all right so if i go ahead and show you this like if i mine it with regular hand or regular shovel it's usually a slow process but with the coral shovel it makes it really easy to you know dig underground and if i go ahead and show you it with where some rocks are and where stone is all right so i can show you the pickaxe and this is really easy, like, it goes by so f much faster, or not. Yeah, there you go. See how fast that goes? It's, it's, like, really fast, so I personally love it. It's a really neat addition, and it kind of... Oh my god, I'm trapped! But I'm claustrophobic. Alright, what? Okay, alright. So... Once again, the crafting recipes are same, are the same for that too. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that once again was the diving gear mod. If I haven't mentioned before, and I personally really like it. Uh, try and use this. I'll put the link in the description down below. It's really cool. It should definitely help your survival game play and it makes life easier underwater. It makes it cool too, and you can spend more time in the water too. So, anyways. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Ballin Games 3 Ballin it out here, and if you're new to the channel, hit, hit that subscribe button, please. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.